All right, Miss Karen, if you could please give us a little tour of what we're seeing here. This is a recreation of a Spanish house. There would have been a small village here in the 17th century. And this house is represented as the Lieutenant Governor's house. But we know that house is probably, would need to be far grander than what we're going to see. But you'll see a typical house of a typical Spanish family who lived in San Luis. Excellent. Let's go ahead and... Sonia here, she's going to be filming you okay. for the vlog. Oh, right now? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Hello. Hi. You, you might want to, uh, Sonia? Mm-hmm. She can greet you at the door. Would you? A Spanish, oh, she's a, she's a, I'm a servant she's today. Right. Yes, that's right. Yes. You're not a Spanish lady. Can I be a step out or? Uh, no, you can just watch if you want. Hello, welcome to the home of Juana Caterina de Florencia. She is a very wealthy and influential Spanish aristocrat here at Mission San Luis, but she is an ill-tempered woman. So luckily for you, you get to hang out with me today instead of meeting her, because you don't want to deal with her. Okay. Well, welcome to her home. This is a waddle and dog structure, a very typical Spanish style of construction. Stars as a wooden framework like that uh, structure across the way. And um, then you take saplings, vines, and small branches, weave them together laterally to form a basket, and then you pack something called daub on top of that. Now, daub is a mixture of clay, sand, water, straw, and animal dung. That animal dung is very, very important as a binding agent. So once you pack on that daub, and hopefully you do it on a sunny day, um, where it can dry out and, and bake and harden in the sun. Um, you whitewash it with limestone and water. And the Signora loves that whitewash because even on a cloudy, uh, drab day like today, it reflects light around the home. So we can actually see in here without burning a whole lot of candles, which is excellent because most of our candles are made from animal fat uh, called tallow and they stink horribly when, when they burn. They also get sooty, greasy black smoke everywhere, which I don't like because I'm the one who ends up having to clean it up. So it's much, much nicer just to have sunlight. Also the Signora, you know, the, the candles, they cost money. So she's rich, not stupid. So she's going to conserve all the resources that she's able to. And you can see her wealth and influence because she has a lovely raised bed um, with this nice canopy on it. Uh, somebody like me, I just sleep on a deer hide. So this is a luxury item. And these big pieces of fabric, they're beautiful, they're functional, they keep bugs from falling on her while she sleeps, but also it's financial security because this fabric is, uh, is imported from Europe and it's a very, very useful item. Because out here on the frontier, we don't really like to deal with coin, currency. I, I won't accept it as payment because it's heavy and it doesn't keep me warm and I can't eat it. So I'd much rather have pieces of fabric because as a cook, I frequently burn holes in my skirt that will need patching. Uh, if, uh, I have lots of children, they grow so quickly, they frequently need um, adjustments made to their clothes which require more fabric. And we also just work hard, we wear out our clothes. So this is a very, very um, useful commodity to have. And additionally, if the British do come and invade, then the Signora has an excellent trade item that's lightweight, easy to travel with, and it's useful to her even if she uh, doesn't have somebody to trade. Because even if you do nothing with it, it's a blanket. Thank you.